Hi there. Thanks again for joining me, everyone. Really appreciate you uh, connecting uh, with me uh, on these uh, posts, and I trust you're enjoying them. We've been uh, looking at uh, respect and the importance of respect in our relationships and uh, principally our family relationships because, you know, they spread out into everything else and all the other interactions we make with people. And so today we're going to look at um, respect demands honesty. So respect demands honesty. I just want to um, throw a curb into that. Um, but when we looked at respect, and respect means to have a high regard for someone. It means to have a high esteem, to really value them, um, to be considerate of them, to admire them, to be thoughtful, to be attentive and attentiveness, uh, consideration, to have a high consideration. And so when you think in our, in our homes, in our, whether it's in our, our marriage, our, our, our spouse, our children, we can, our parents and relatives and friends and associations, you know, there, we could say varying degrees of respect, but everything starts at the home, right? It starts in the family. And so let's talk about uh, honesty demanding res um, honesty, respect demanding honesty, excuse me. And so um, when we talk about this kind of honesty, let's say in, in the marriage relationship, then myself, when I allow my wife to be honest with me, um, what, what I mean by that is allowing her to be honest with me, even when I might not like what she's saying to me. <laughs> so that's really important is what I've learned over the years. And um, what we could say, this honesty from her heart, it um, her heart to mine then, it allows her to express what she really feels. And I said before, what I've learned is um, women don't just speak words. They're not just words, but they convey feelings. They convey emotions. And so um, when I say respect demands honesty, um, it means I have to be willing to allow my wife to express how she feels, um, to express how she she feels that I, the way I treat her and being honest to express um, how I make her feel. Cause see, all of that is um, is part of what makes up her, we could say her soul then. And um, you know, to me, feelings, I'll be honest with you, was not initially important because in some cases I'm, I can be dismissive even of my own feelings and emotions. And, and so, um, I had to learn pretty early and over the years, especially the early part, is that it was important to her. It was important for me to connect with how she's feeling again, because that's because think about it. We're 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 spirit, soul, and body. Our soul is made up of our mind, our will, our emotions, our intellect. So it is a part of us, and so we could say. Um, Oftentimes people don't have a problem in their spirit. They may not have, might not have a problem in their body, but oftentimes the problem is in, in their soul and our, their emotions. Our emotion is, is a part of us. And so we have to be careful, um, or we could say be accountable uh, for how words we speak that go into people's souls. And so it's important to allow my wife to be honest with me, to know, because that's we, sometimes um, that transparency, that honesty, is a reality check on the relationship. You know, it's a it's a reality check. Are we okay? Is everything okay? Um, um, but also part of what plays into that, then, when we've got that honesty going, when we have that transparency going, uh, when she's able to speak honestly. Um, and my wife is much more, we could say, open and uh, more verbal uh, than I am. Um, but that that uh, that communication for me is and allowing her to be transparent whenever she needs to be. Then to me it brings a reality check. I can see where she's at, how she is, uh, what's her, st her frame of mind, um, what's the the state of our unity see that and so we've got to build on that and so um maybe note this so we said honesty sorry respect excuse me 
demands honesty. Honesty builds trust. Trust builds security. And we could say security builds confidence. Now think about that. So again, you know, respect demands honesty. As we as we have that that honesty, and which of course is a certain transparency, then that it that it establishes, then honesty builds trust. Trust builds security. Security builds confidence. So we could say um, respect is critical, then, isn't it not? <laughs> and so these other layers we could say of trust, security, confidence, you know, are, are built. We could say on this um, elementary foundation of respect. And the stronger our relationships, the more long lasting it can be, the more it can sustain and undergird because it's got a right foundation, right? And so uh, I trust this helps you today to uh, continue to um, uh, build a strong uh, spirit, an atmosphere of respect in your home, in your family, in your relationships, and also to Make sure that we, we have the state of heart and state of mind that allows one another to be honest. Check out the link below if this um, this has been helpful today. Uh, share with your family, friends, loved ones. Uh, put a comment, like it, send it around the world to everyone you know. And uh, subscribe to our page if you're not already done so. And of course, check out the video on the YouTube link below. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for some excellent content I know will bless you. This weekend, we've got a fall, a, uh, our fall conference. It's called uh, the, um, the Power of a Team. In fact, we have a great friend to our ministry, Reverend Gary and Connie Crowell from uh, Texas, recently from Tulsa and just tremendous people. They were our Bible school instructors, also became the dean of the Bible school, but great people, uh, loving people. Really, they're, they're, they've been missionaries around the world, functioning a, a very powerful, authentic apostolic ministry you don't want to miss. So again, join us this Saturday at 2 p.m., also Sunday at 11 a.m. for our fall conference, The Power of a Team. I'm passionate about this. I'm excited about this because you've got a part. You've got a function in the body of Christ. God wants you to know it and take your place so the body of Christ can grow and be strong and effective and reach more people, reach our cities, our region, our nations with the wonderful, beautiful gospel of our Lord. Well, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. See you soon.